what's up everybody? It's George here and we're ready to take the Blade 350QX out on its maiden flight. Before we do, I want to go over a couple things that I did in preparation. The first was to completely read through the entire manual, which I did, and then I went ahead and set up my DX8. One thing I did run into was a little confusing and that was the switch selection setting. They want you to set the flight mode to the gear channel and it wouldn't let me. It was set on inhibit and I couldn't change it. The reason was is because the gear was already set to the gear channel. Once I set the gear channel to inhibit, it allowed me to go into the flight mode and set it for gear. The rest of the setup went real smoothly. If you're having any problems setting up your DX8, I suggest you go take a look at Earthling 1984's video that he just posted about setting up the DX8 and getting it to work with the Blade 350QX. Once I got my radio all set up, I went ahead and I did install the GoPro mount. It's pretty straightforward. There's four screws that hold it on. The grommets go in between the two pieces. Uh, do take note that it does say front and you want to make sure that you watch the orientation on both the bottom and the top piece. I also went ahead and I put the battery in. I have another battery on charge. I have it all ready to go and I have bound it to the DX8. I bound it down here in the basement so I didn't get a GPS link but let's go ahead and take it outside because it's ready to go. Alrighty, we're all ready to take the Blade 350QX up for its maiden flight. You can see that I have a solid green light and that's indicating that I'm in safe mode and I do have GPS lock. The winds are about 5 to 10 miles an hour, almost, uh, almost still very nice night. It's a little bit past 6.30, it's kind of dusky and um, uh, let's go ahead and take it up in the air and see how it does. To arm it, what you want to do is move your rudder stick to the left to the right and back to the center and that should start up the props and it did all four props are up and running let's go ahead and lift it off see how it does and she's in the air and it seems very stable at this point I'm giving it no stick input you can see for yourself and it's just hanging right there amazing amazing now in this mode orientation is not important so let me just go ahead and try doing a little pirouetting and it's holding its position perfectly as it's pirouetting very nice next I'm going to try to go ahead and move it around once again orientation is not important so I'm just flying it around using normal controls. Right is right, left is left. Pull them back on a stick, it comes towards me. Pushing forward goes away. It's definitely going to take a little getting used to. It's kind of like a strife look when you're playing first person games. But so far it's, it's flying very nice. I'm very pleased with it. Let's go ahead and take it up a little bit higher. Very nice. Let's go ahead and try that um, that bubble. It's supposed to keep a bubble around me and it's supposed to prevent me from running it into myself. So let's go ahead and see how that works. And it does. Right now I'm pulling all the way back on the elevator and it is not moving back one bit. It's stopping and it's giving me my safety bubble. Well that feature works as advertised. I'm happy about that. I'm running in low rates right now so it's very docile and you notice I don't have the GoPro on there. I really don't want to use the GoPro on my first flight. <clears throat> but so far it seems like it is flying wonderfully. I am very very happy with the way it's flying. Well, there's another feature I'd like to try before I end the video. I don't want to sit here and make you watch me hover all evening but I do want to try the return home feature. When I hit the return home, it should flash a red light up there and then bring the heli home. Let's go ahead and give it a try. There's the red light flashing. And it's coming down. Nice soft landing. It should turn off the props. Look at that. 
everything works exactly the way it should. Hats off to Horizon Hobby and Blade. Well done. The 300 QX is a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, everybody, and look for more videos coming soon.